Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Sighted, this is BGFH, and back again for another PC game low vision spotlight video. <clears throat> and the game we're looking at here, as you can tell here on the screen, is called Photonica. Had no idea what this game is, I didn't even know that it came out on Steam until I heard somebody, I can't remember which one, I uh, heard about somebody talking about it on a podcast, and the way they described it, I'm like, that sounds kind of interesting, so I went to look it up, and it was pretty cheap, uh, I think it was actually on sale when I picked it up too, and yeah, it is an interesting one, so Photonica, um, it's really, really simple in gameplay, very simple, takes like two seconds to learn, uh, but just like anything that's really simple, um, you know, if you create the gameplay hook correctly, really kind of tough to master. So, let's uh, get right into it. Everything in this game has this black and white look to it. It's all almost like wireframe vector graphics. Um, and actually, I think that's... I really like the aesthetic of this game. I think it works quite well, to be honest. So, right here we've got our main menu, and like I said, because everything is black and white, for the most part, it's pretty easy to see. There are a couple of parts in the levels where things just end up going so fast, and some of the lines are like, you know, crossing each other, and just can be a little bit chaotic, and so if you are low vision, I can see where some people may have a little bit of trouble here and there, but especially if you start memorizing the levels, because at least in arcade mode up here, they're not random. Um, they are set every time, and you have to go through them. So what is Photonica? Well, let's go into arcade mode, and I will show you. So, it is basically an endless runner set to this really crazy uh, graphical style this wireframe vector style and some kind of really interesting, I would say kind of ambient or different kind of music. So I have unlocked all of the levels unless there's a bonus one that can come up if I were to get to the end of this one. These little uh, diamonds here indicate that I've actually beaten the level all the way through. You can get a score and then you can get the, uh, you can get to the end of the level <clears throat> and you don't necessarily have to get to the end of the level to unlock the next one. You kind of have to get a uh, to get a score, and then that usually seems to unlock the level. Because there were a couple in the beginning that I really didn't unlock. So let's just jump into the first one, and here we go. I will try not to suck too badly, but I'm not going to promise anything. So we're just running straight forward. All I am doing is holding down one button. I could use the, any button on the mouse. Uh, right now I'm using the W key, like as if I was running in WASD in a first person shooter. So we're first person here. We're gonna jump. Oh, that was, okay, that worked. And jump. Oh, that was not good. And I'm collecting these little like orb things. They seem to make you go faster. Because I am hauling some serious ass right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not... Okay, I did that wrong. So, what's interesting is... All it is is one button. When you hold it down, your kind of... Your gravity is pushing down. When you let up, that's when you jump. And when you're in the air, you can control that. So, if you do want to do, like, more of a hop instead of a, just a long leap, you can hit your down button right away. See if, see if I go like this, I can jump, and that's gonna actually really hurt me, I think. Um, I think I might have screwed myself over. There we go. Oh shoot, I didn't get to that in time. That's not good. Jump. And jump. Shit. Okay. Screwed that up. <sighs> I was hoping I would get to the end of the level. I'll try it one more time. I think what I'll do is I'll limit each level to maybe three tries. Because 
there really isn't much to necessarily talk about with this game. Uh, you already know how to play it. Uh, you know, you just basically hold down one button to jump, try to collect these weird little orb things, those circles, for more speed, which will uh, which will also let you jump further, get more air time, and that was not right. Jump. Oh, that was too early, but that was okay. Jump! Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Jeebus. Okay, we got enough air there. Alright, cool. Whee! Alright, we beat the first level. So, Arcade is not very... The levels themselves are not very long, but obviously as you go, they get more complex. So let's go to level two. Um, I mean, I guess I can show you, like I said, I'm only going to try maybe two or three times in each level. So odds are, unless I get extremely lucky for some reason, you're not going to see the whole level. You're just going to see parts of it until I eventually suck. So, I'll do what I can here. So each world, even though um, it is still mostly like, you know, monochrome, you have black and white or this kind of black and yellowish thing here we got going on. There's different kind of arts. Ah, oh, and that'll happen. You'll, you'll not get enough air and you'll smack your face right into a ledge and you'll kill any momentum that you had. Especially on later levels, that happens to me a lot. The last level's a real pain in the ass, which I will show you. So, you know what? I'm only gonna do two because, like I said, I don't, I don't want to accidentally get through and beat all these levels, and then like there's nothing really left for you to see. I mean, yes, doing it is way harder than just watching somebody else do it, but. It is a fun game. I mean, it is worth playing. Um, jump. Again, it's gonna be, it's kinda, oh shoot. It's really hard, uh, really, again? That's what you're gonna do? It is kinda hard to talk and play this game at the same time because, uh, uh oh. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I jumped way too late on that one. Bummer. All right, you know what? No, we're just going to do two. Just to give you guys a look. All right, so let's go to the third one. And you know what? I actually haven't tried Endless, so we'll have to back out and see what Endless is actually like. Oh, God, this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good. this one is where they start ramping up. There's a lot more pits. Oh, no, I'm not going to make that. Okay. Unless I do really, really bad, I'll, I'll just do two. But uh, otherwise, I'll do three. I vaguely remember how to do this one. And you want to, like, there are multiple paths, like a higher and a lower path. It seems to always be good if you can get as high as possible, as quickly as possible. Because that way, if you don't make one of these jumps, you won't be completely screwed. You might be able to, you might, oh shoot, you might be able to save yourself. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? Oh god, oh god. No, that's not. Okay, let's see if we can salvage this. Oh shoot, come on. Holy crap. I've never taken this way before, so. Okay. Boom. Holy crap, I made it in two tries. Nice. I actually have trouble with some of the small the earlier levels because you start out slower and there's not like as many obstacles. I I seem to do better like when there's um like more complicated for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, well, let's do the 1 2 3, yeah, fourth level. Okay, here we go. Oh, what is, oh, this one is weird. This one has a little more texture to it. Oh yeah. 
I'm trying to just remember, like, you gotta have pretty split-second reflexes, and then... Oh, that was really stupid. Yep, that was not good. Alright, that was totally my fault. I biffed that one up pretty bad. We have more of an upbeat tempo here. Uh, levels are a little bit, like, even the floor is like, got all these lines and stuff in it. So we're ramping things up a bit here. Again, try to get and keep as high as I can. As much as I can. Collect some of these. Okay. And jump. There we go. Hurt. Ooh, I almost didn't make that. Nice. Uh, jump. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, really? Oh, shit, that's not good. That, what is going, okay. I just killed any momentum I had. So this is gonna, oh, and then I read that completely wrong. Things are good. Oh, this is where it gets weird, okay. We're in like this weird tunnel thing. There's like spring things that if you don't hit right. Yeah, I don't quite understand that section. So I'll let you see the, less, the rest of that level on your own. Let us check out the last one. I've been working on this one for a little while, and it's kind of a pain. I have not beaten it, and you'll see why. So, like I said, a lot of it, you know, you're making these long jumps, but this one especially, the last level, um, you really want to actually do little hops to get the right. Otherwise, you're going to overshoot a lot of jumps, and it's just going to be real of a pain. Here we go. I'm not going to promise this is going to go well at all. So there I was actually ending or ending my jump earlier because I wanted to get a certain... Uh, yeah, see, that's what screws me. I can never... I hate that stupid... I usually don't get... Make that, that higher jump, but... It's hard to judge whether I should... Yep, see... I thought about trying to lower myself, but then I was afraid I wouldn't make the lower one. Let's try this again here. I'll, I'll, give, this, I'll give this one a couple of tries, because... on the Oh, that was ugly. Um, this one is... Unless things get miraculously lucky. I am not beating this one. Like I said, I've tried this one a lot. This level reminds me, this one just has a really cool... Oh my god, I'm just sucking even more now. This has a really cool aesthetic, like it's still got the black and white, but it kind of reminds me like if I was doing a chase in a... Really? You're gonna hit the bottom one now? Dear god. But this reminds me like if I was... Uh, action movie and I'm like running down the train, the aisles of a train or something. Oh my god, I'm just doing shit-tacular here. Okay, I'm gonna shut up here and just try a couple runs and try to do halfway decent. Jump. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna lower myself. Erg! Really? I've... I usually make it past that part. I don't have trouble with that part, usually. And again, I can't even look around. Oh, yeah, see, now I went too low. But, you know, I can move my mouse all I want. And it's just locked in... I could see this really being an iPad game. I could see this being really easily a mobile game. For all I know, it maybe is. I don't know. Yeah, okay, here we go. Jump over there. Land this. Okay, get that. Jump. Oh, that was close. Running down the train. Dun, 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 dun. The window's there. Jump! Oh, that was not good. Uh, crap, I'm lower now. Give me some speed, bow oh, crap. 
Well, you know what? I got further, so you know what? I'm gonna call that a win. Let's check out Endless Mode, because I actually haven't tried that yet. And then we'll wrap it up. So this is Photonica. Photonica. Weird name for a game. Kind of cool. And uh, kind of a cool little game. Endless. Oh. Okay. I did not know that. There's actually unlocks here. So I haven't even played this. So I probably have to get... Okay, this is probably going to be brutal. I don't even know if I want to know what this is going to be like. A lot more stuff off to the sides. Music is pretty calm so far. Ooh. Ooh, barely made that. Jump. Ooh. Jump. What? Really? Hate you. Okay. Try this a couple more times. Now I don't know. I don't know if. Oh, really? How did you screw that up? I don't know if these are random. I know the uh, arcade levels are not. It doesn't look like these are either, because it seems pretty. Oh, that's not gonna be. Ooh. Jump! Oh, the... Oh. Fuck. Man. I don't know what that glow means. Like, if that's a sort of, like, a, if I'm doing, like, a combo or a s score thing, or if I'm just doing terrible again. Uh, I, know, I don't know if it's, uh, like, a warning or if it's just, like, a score multiplier. I just... I'm not looking at anywhere except what is right in front of me on this path. Like, if there's stuff in the bottom corners or something, don't know, don't really care. I'm sure there's a score somewhere, but eyes on the road. Jump. Okay. Oh, damn it! Ha oh. ha I will say, you know, even when I do bad, badly, uh, it's one of these games... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Photonica is one of these games that just, you restart so fast that it does have that one more game, I gotta do better, one more game mentality, you know, like I said, I've said, oh, I'm only going to, I'm only going to do three tries, and that's, no, oh wow, I actually made that, hot diggity, jump, oh, smacked right in the face, one more time, and then we'll see if I doubt I unlocked the next one, but good, at least there'll be something for you guys that you haven't seen. Whee! But yeah, it definitely has that one more game, one more game. It's, it does have that addictive quality to it. And for a game this simple, that that is, oh geez, that is definitely an important thing to have. Because, like I said, there really there, there is not much to it. Jump! Okay, made it further. Come on. Okay. Oh, I jumped too late. Well, I got further, so th that's a good thing. Let's see if I unlocked. Nope. Well, there you have it, guys. That is Photonica for Steam. I believe it might be 10 bucks regular price. I think I got it for 5 or 6 or something like that. But um, if you like just a really simple game that will kind of test your reflexes uh, and just a cool little art style, this might be one to check out. Uh, I actually quite enjoy it. And now that I learned that there are actually tiers to this uh, mode, I'm going to try to unlock some stuff here as well. So that is Photonica. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.